Okay, I have my July Raves and Rejects for you guys. The shit I like and the shit I hate. First thing that I tried out and love this month is the Ardell 120 Demi Wispies. I don't have the little box thing because I'm wearing them right now. Yeah, this is what they look like. I look like the thing, the sloth from Ice Age right now. I've never been down to buy a $5 pair of false lashes like you don't need those especially when i can get a whole box of them off ebay for two dollars but i was in the drugstore and i was like i'm gonna see what all the damn hype is about these 120 damn wispies when i have these things on i feel like i'm wearing the rolex of false lashes my next favorite this is a product and it's by mate their website's matemakeupcompany.com and it is this nude lipstick in the color naked truth and clearly I've used a lot of it because it used to be like a normal pointy looking lipstick. So if you want a nude lipstick that isn't going to wash you out but you still want to have like a new type of lip. So what I'm wearing right now, I just filmed a tutorial by the way on this look. I don't know when it'll be up. My next favorite is this thing. Okay, I told myself I wasn't going to buy this damn palette because honestly I wasn't that impressed with the Naked 2 palette. I like about two shades from it and that's about it but I had a 40% off coupon for Urban Decay from IMAT so I was like I have to would you pass that up no I love this thing 50 times more than the Naked 2 palette you guys have probably all seen this 5 billion times but these are the colors and I think I like it more because it has these like matte colors Naked, where's naked? Right here. Naked is the perfect transition color for your crease. I don't care what look I'm wearing, that is my go-to transition color now. It just helps blend all of your eyeshadows together and kind of like flow into your brow bone instead of being like, hey, I'm brown, and I'm white. That makes sense to anyone. <laughs> I don't think so. I would totally be okay with only using this palette for the rest of my life. Actually, I'd probably get pretty bored. But it's good for everyday makeup, that's my point. The next favorite of mine is a perfume, and it's the Ralph Lauren Hot, Ralph Lauren, whatever. And clearly it's a favorite because it's almost gone. I totally forgot I had this perfume, and whenever I come home from college, it's like fucking Christmas because I discover like shit in my room that I forgot I had. Like, I found an Essie nail polish in my sock drawer the other day. Tell me how that works. I'm absolutely horrible at describing scent, so I'm not even going to go there. But it reminds me of a mix of Britney Spears' Fantasy and Playboy Naughty. It's probably embarrassing that I know what Playboy Naughty smells like, but I was in Walmart the other day and I was like spraying all the perfumes on me. And I sprayed that and it smells freaking amazing. I kept like smelling it on my arm like, damn, this smells good. But I don't know, I just couldn't justify buying a Playboy perfume. Like what if someone asks you what you're wearing? What do you say? Playboy naughty? I'm pretty sure I mentioned this next product in like a early, like one of my first videos ever. Um, but it's the Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray and I honestly am unsure as to how I lived without this product in my life before. Yeah, I spray it before and after I apply my face makeup. I didn't used to like buy into the whole setting spray things because the only thing I tried was the e.l.f. setting spray which doesn't do shit. It's like water on your face. I noticed a huge difference in the lasting power and just the finish of my makeup when I don't apply this. This retails for $28 I believe and it is worth every single penny. Um, I will keep repurchasing this forever. I have like three backups right now. If you're unsure and don't really buy into the whole makeup setting spray thing like I did, you can try this, get this at Sephora, and if you don't like it, you can use up to like half the bottle that the lady said and then return it, which is kind of weird to me. So if you don't like it, keep your receipt and you can return it. Okay, now I have some non-beauty favorites before, well I guess I have two, yeah. I have, my nose it just. Before I move on to the rejects of the month. The first one is a channel that I randomly came across from reading an article. They are the Knives Knowles. It is a vlogging couple, kind of like the Shaytards, which I don't watch. 
um, or boyfriend versus girlfriend, or what are my favorite? It's Judy time. Except they're 50 times more hilarious. They just had a little baby, and Austin, the husband, dad, whatever, is hilarious. He reminds me of Jim Carrey. And then his wife, Brittany, is like this freaking hot mom who is so sweet and funny and I don't know I just really really enjoy watching their videos and I feel like I haven't heard anyone talk about them before so I wanted to share them with you guys because if you like watching YouTube videos that make you laugh and are entertaining then I would definitely go check them out subscribe if you do tell them I sent you last night I literally watched like 12 of their videos in a row and was crying laughing. I don't know, they're just really fun to watch and yeah. The second favorite of mine that isn't a beauty thing is the Jillian Michaels 30 Day Shred DVD. I got it off Amazon for like, I don't know, $8 because I was like, I don't have a gym membership since I'm just here for the summer. I get back into shape after college like killing me. Jillian is no joke. I thought it was gonna be like a you know, just like getting toned workout. No, you're gonna fucking be like pouring wet in sweat when you're done. There's my dog. The UPS guy's walking up right now. <laughs> Anyways, what was I even saying? What it is, is every day for 30 days you're supposed to do the DVD and it's a 20 minute intense, very intense workout. And there's three different levels which I like and in every level there's um, like two girls behind Jillian who do modified versions or harder versions so you can kind of choose the level you want. She works muscles that I never knew I had. Yeah, still going. I'm like on day 16 right now so I'm like halfway done and it's great because I have all of her one-liners memorized. Alright, now on to rejects. This product was sent to me like I told you earlier. Regardless of whether it was sent to me or not, I'm gonna tell you if a product sucks. This company said that they they were sending me an anti-aging cream which I was like great because I have like a fear of aging not gonna get into it and I got this it is called 100% raw and natural wrinkle butter with earthworm complex another word for saying earthworm shit this has fucking earthworm shit in it why would I be down to put earthworm poop on my face I really wanted to try it out and like it whoa I just like twitched there's my dog again. I really wanted to try it out and be like, yeah, I wear earthworm castings to bed, what up? And just like rock it. I put this on my face. About two minutes later, I wanted to puke. It looks like dried, look, I oh, don't even want to open this. It looks, oh, it looks like dried cement and mud and poop mixed and it smells horrid. God, I wish you could like virtually smell this. Shit is meant to be in a toilet or in little earthworms case in the ground, not on my face. My second reject is this Victoria's Secret shimmer stick or whatever it's called, luminous cheek and face highlighter and it's in the color Showtime. And when I first put this on, I really liked it, and then I realized why it was on clearance. This is one of those products where there's like a, I don't even know what that's called, there's a layer of the shine on top, and then once you rub that layer off, it fucking sucks. Here's what it looks like, and I would swatch it, but nothing shows up because there's, this is nothing. Like, what is this? I don't know. So that was my July raves and rejects. If you like this, click the thumbs up button, and I will see you guys in my next video. Thank <laughs> you.